everybody! It's your friendly neighborhood farmer, Free Range Kara, and wouldn't you know it, it's the end of 2023 already. Seems like just this yesterday it was November. I mean January. You get it. But, uh, it's been a really fun year for Free Range Kara this year. I got to travel to a lot of places, got to see a lot of people, got to wrestle a bunch of new people that I haven't wrestled before. Um, so I wanted to make a quick little video, um, do a little year-end roundup for all the matches and the stuff that I did here in 2023. I will have to keep looking at my phone a little bit just to look at the statistics, but let's go! Alright, in 2023 I had a total of 41 matches, which doesn't seem like a lot, but considering there's 52 weeks out of the year, that means I wrestle almost every single weekend. And, you know, some weekends, like I think last year February was a dry month and I didn't have anything in November either, so like, I was wrestling pretty much the entire time. It's great. I had a total of 25 wins and 16 losses. I don't know what that percentage is, but that's more wins than losses, so we'll take it. Uh, I started off the year with zero championships. I wasn't a champion carrying into 2023. I did not unfortunately win any championships, so I'm still at zero, but that means I didn't lose any championships, so you know, you take with what you can get. Yeah, that sounds made sense. You take with what you can get. I did challenge for one championship, um, one of my last shows of the year. It might have been my last show of the year. Um, at Destination Pro, I challenged for the Destination Pro Heavyweight Championship against Ryan Cruz, and he cheated, so we'll get him next time. I wrestled in a total of six states this year, which I think is more than I did last year, but I'd have to look. I wrestled in North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, and Iowa. Got all them I states. So kept it to the Midwest, and that's, you know, my home turf, so it makes sense that I'd be there. Uh, I wrestled for a lot of promotions. I had two promotion debuts, which was Envision Wrestling in Indiana and Dream Move Wrestling in Illinois. So it was really fun to get to debut for some new places and um, expose my uh, <laughs> lovely character to new areas and new people. Um, so places that I returned to would include First Wrestling, Second Wrestling, Higher Ground, Freelance, Time Bomb Pro, Heavy On Wrestling, Pro Wrestling Battleground, and Destination Pro. So a lot of familiarity, a lot of similar, like, similar audiences, people that know my stuff, so I had a really good time there. A fun fact for this year, I am undefeated in Royal Rumbles, which not a lot of people can ever say. The Royal Rumble at the Mall of America back in September, and then I had the Royal Rumble at Destination Pro at Thief River Falls, which I won and that got me my championship match, which I had um, earlier this month. So it's pretty cool that I got to be undefeated, and I look forward to continuing my winning streak. My most frequent opponent is no surprise to me, uh, Badger Briggs. We faced off a total of 14 times, whether it was uh, in singles, and opposite ends of a tag match, or in scrambles. So we 14 times out of 41 matches. Um, also, funnily enough, um, my most frequent tag team partner was also Badger Briggs. <laughs> we teamed together a total of five times, so you know. They and I, me and Badger, we're just... You never know what you're gonna get on a date with me and Badger. We could be, could be enemies, could be acquaintances, could be passive-aggressive co-workers. That is our tag team name, official. Write it down. The passive-aggressive co-workers. And then I wrote down a couple of new opponents that I had in this past year. I, you know, obviously I faced a lot of similar people, mostly Badger Briggs. But some new faces that I fought were um, Shazza McKenzie, I got Hayan, Alley Catch, Dark Sheik, uh, Maggie Lee, I had um, Shalance Royale, who at the time was the current OVW Women's Champion, I faced Alice Crowley a couple times, I faced Jordan at first wrestling at higher ground, I faced uh, Renny D, my mortal enemy. Uh, we got Vic Analog, I faced Ryan Cruz for the very first time, which is weird because we've known each other for six years now, and that was our very first time wrestling each other. And I even shared the ring with my favorite cowboy, Rodeo Randy, a couple times. Yeah. That's not a soundbite, he's right here. Oh! <laughs> I'm right here! Oh my god. But yeah, overall, uh, my 2023 was very, very fun. Uh, I want to say that like most of my matches I remember just really enjoying being a wrestler and getting to spend time with people that I enjoy getting to perform for all of you. Uh, but yeah, 2023 draws to a close. I do have some bookings already set up for 2024, so you have to 
catch me on those. Tickets are on sale now. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for supporting my journey here in wrestling. And I wish all of you a happy and healthy 2024. All right, happy new year.